four that you've seen then that's Peter Ward the next one after that in the triple rotor RX7 so Caruso controls it and away it goes and Riccadillo's going to go with him and try and trot down the inside and they go down to the third one and gets the job done so Tony had a feeling he might be able to make the measure of Caruso in the first race unfortunately had a bit of a slip up he couldn't tell what gear he was in during the race so we're going back to race conditions and it's Riccadello out in front Caruso second, Chet third then it's Shules and Ingram followed by Duggan then the second of the Ingram cars Oh, ah, here we go we're back down to pit lane uh, get another one of those insightful interviews all right, Chris, uh, runner of the Sierra, you had a great mayhem out here with fast cars right up the front of the field. Crusoe tucked right in behind Riccadello. Will try and slot himself out there. Chetton and Shields the next two. Then it's Ingram, Duggan, Lacey, Bob, and the other Ingram car followed by Mantecos. Jarvis has just picked him off going into turn one. Oh, yeah, and Shields looking for a way past Chetton. Let's go down to turn four, but already our front two have pulled away they the big three are as i said before caruso who's now in front of riccadello small tire oh cold tire uh change left hand coffee gear back and shields has got past chetton as well in, in the well, and right on the line peter ingram has pipped billy chetton for fourth position so interesting race, bit of drama throughout, but uh, when these cars are firing and on song, they're good to watch. over 10 laps, hopefully we can get through it without a safety car. George Caruso on pole, Tony Riccadale alongside of him, and we're just about to hit the big go button. Red flag, red lights on, red lights will go out, rolling start, and away they will go, and there they do. Riccadale's got a great start. Shoes comes in behind Caruso as they get him the turn one. Caruso gets the lead, Riccadale right in behind him. Peter Ingram on the outside, won't go in the outside, and Jules can't quite do it. We look back to the field, there's uh, Mannix, and a spinner, that's Matt Ingram. He was one of the ones who was penalised, and some other good bits and pieces, so it's one of the, um, can't, obviously can't uh, qualify for T Trans Am, but it can run in this category as a sports editor. Riccadello there, we've just seen uh, Ingram sprinting Ford Mustang. Great muscle look. car, spec car. But, Great uh, looking car. It is. Oh, yeah. Only done with a few modifications. Took a bit of weight out of it. Left this with a, a green track, just a local yellow there. Or oh, do we get a local yellow? No, it's actually a yellow out. It's, oh, there's one there. Yes. Oh, and then Nick Smith, who's batting just uh, holding on a bit to battle for fourth, I should say. Steve Lacey comes home in sixth position. Then it should be Ryan Humphreys. He's been through the wars, and he's just ahead of uh, Mark Duggan, who um, they were two that had the contract. So I guess for uh, him to get back ahead of Duggan is justice. Chris Jackson in ninth, and he's come back.